I mean, I think that it says a lot that, I mean, we really have said no to everything right now because we've been working on the record, but we said yes to this because Vegas is our band. We wouldn't be here if it wasn't for Vegas. I actually really believe if we started our band in any, any other city, I'm very doubtful that we would be where we are today. Um, Vegas supported us from the beginning. We played in the casinos, which you can't do in other cities. I'm born and raised Vegas, so obviously, you know, it's everything to me. Yeah. Yeah, we had a gig at O'Shea's for a while. We played at Mandalay Bay, we played at Caesars Palace. We played, you know, we were really, we were in debt to Vegas. Vegas kept us alive. It fed us when we were a young band and we were starving and had no money to pay rent. Um, we really owe everything to Vegas, yeah. I mean, the first time that we played the joint at the Hard Rock was an epic experience for us. It was something that we had, I mean, as a band in Vegas, that's kind of the holy grail. You get to get on that stage. And we had gotten to open for a couple of bands early on, just kind of, uh, you know, getting spots. And when we got to finally do our own headlining show and play to a, a sold-out uh, house at the joint, I mean, I think that's really kind of the first moment that we felt like we had made it. There's nothing like coming home to your hometown and looking out in the crowd and even a crowd of, you know, 15,000 people and being able to say, you know, pick out, like, your, your cousin or that fan that was at that first show who just is seeing it and it all comes full circle and you kind of get a look at that person in the crowd and be like, you know, I remember you and this is cool, that, you know, thanks for being there. It's, it's all about the home crowd and we, we love Vegas. Oh, well, Vegas is unique in every <laughs> sense of the word. Uh, I don't think there's any city that I've been to that there is even reminiscent of Vegas. It's cool because Vegas has this culture to it that's like no other culture, uh, which is every, it's almost like a smorgasbord. There's a little bit of everything. There's a little bit of Italy. There's a little bit of uh, uh, Paris, France. Paris. There's a little, it's like, you, there's so much of the world here in Vegas and people from all over the world um, here, so there's a reason why they all come here, and it's because it's the best city in the world. My favorite thing in Vegas uh, currently is actually the downtown strip. They've, they've changed everything around. There's a real kind of vibe down there, uh, whether it's First Friday going on and all these artists coming together and all the food and, and uh, the art and the, and the music, or, you know, Container Park. And There's just so much going on uh, down, downtown, so yeah. Uh, I think the biggest misconception is that Vegas doesn't have more to offer than just the Strip. Um, there are beautiful parks, there's real culture. I would say people don't realize how good the food in Vegas is. I don't mean just like on the Strip, but outside the Strip, it's some of the best food in the world. I, I would put it on par with New York even, as far as great places, especially Asian food. So I think I get my Asian food fix in Vegas. You know, only in Vegas, <laughs> only in Vegas do you find yourself spending your late evening, very early morning, seeing how high up the walls of the casinos you can actually climb. You know that pyramid in Vegas? The Luxor. <laughs> That's, we'll just say that. The light at the top is real. <laughs> like a moth to flame. <laughs> I got an only in Vegas. Only in Vegas. Ready? So uh, an only in Vegas moment would, uh, would be, you know, this is a city where you can get all you can eat sushi at uh, 2 a.m. You know, you can't, I don't, I don't even think you can do that in New York, but in Vegas you can get all you can eat sushi 2 a.m.